Hi, this is Gilles, the radio proper. And you know, I was playing with FT8 Call today on 20 meters. And who do I see on the air? Julian, OH8STN at Survival Tech Nord. So I'm going to try to send him a message and see uh, if he, he will hear me. My antenna is a 12 meter spider beam mast with a half-wave and fed wire, so it's about 10.1 meters. You can see my uh, radio station here, just the uh, KX2 and my Mac, and here uh, it should be sending any second. Uh, you will see the TX LED turn red. And uh, I set the power to 5 watts, uh, there we go. A very low SWR, I'm not using a tuner, which is great with the uh, half-wave and fed antenna and uh, it should just take a few seconds basically to send my message it does send more than once uh, basically because of course uh, it has to make sure that the uh, recipient uh, receives the message in a one of his uh, receiving time slots so that's why it's sending more than once and here is my message i've given him a signal to noise ratio it's still sending and boom back to receive now and uh, here is uh, my message printed in the uh, dialog box and you can see here the previous messages that he sent here's the map here and you can see on a PSK reporter that uh, his station does receive me undoubtedly so uh, he might be on automatic mode though and uh, you know be somewhere in the house uh, which uh, will reply to any uh, signal to noise ratio reports automatically uh, but what I want to do of course is talk to him directly so actually I cheated a little bit I sent him a text <laughs> and uh, he should be there any second now so uh, we'll see when uh, he sends a message and I think that's him right here yep so uh, we'll see the uh, decoding and here's Julian's screen and actually he did send me a message uh, which we will see him typing here in a second you can see on his screen that he has a whole lot more stuff going on than I do and it might be his location a better reception and I think that's probably the explanation I know my antenna is very good so I'm not worried about that but uh, over there uh, he might have much better reception of signals and here he goes Gilles good to see you here that's what we just saw I'm gonna send him uh, still trying to figure this out okay it's kind of a slow mode so uh, it's edited for time I'm not going to show you everything in between the uh, the long sending periods I'm just keep going to edit the video so that it doesn't take forever here I'm telling him that I'm using my KX2 uh, 5 watts with a half wave and fed antenna uh, which is vertical sending now goes back to yep now it's sending okay goes back to receive goes to sending again because uh, once again it sends more than once back to receive back to sending and uh, that should be the last time back on receive yep here we go so and sending again it, it does this multiple times and I'm not quite sure how many times sometimes it seems to be only twice and sometimes more than that and uh, okay here it's definitely back on receive and I should see uh, a reply for uh, from him now on the left and uh, yeah, here's a signal coming on and uh, I think that is him or maybe it's just right next to it let's click on that I'm not sure I'm on the uh, correct frequency actually but uh, I hope I am going to right click and boom click on um, his frequency there to be exactly uh, on it so and I'm going to uh, send him that message uh, hopefully I'm just smack on his frequency now I'm not quite sure if the mode if you have uh, absolutely need to be on the other person's frequency but uh, I suspect it uh, definitely is the case uh, or it definitely helps sending again and uh, whoop, okay here's the reply again you can see on the left and uh, we will see his message 
pop up his reply pop up in the uh, dialog box here in the center so affordably why yes okay excellent I'm going to start replying just in advance because I, I don't want to lose any time I should be more patient really uh, very good okay excellent well wow, the thing really works you know I'm still not a fan of digital modes because you need a computer and that's the only reason but you know it would be really stupid not to uh, uh, to know about uh, the latest uh, developments and it's a technology that definitely could be uh, very useful uh, for camp radio uh, you know uh, and actually Julian does it portable so okay uh, for WBY, uh, let's wait for the uh, reminder of his message. Outstanding, uh, yeah, I'd say so. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. I am at 30 watts. Yeah, that's pretty, uh, well, 30 watts is pretty good. I think it's an ideal power level, actually. The military uh, uses, you know, 25 to 30 watts for all their man pack radios. And there is a good reason for that, because it works. I'm at 5 watts, of course, and that seems to be just enough, actually. Uh, the vertical antenna works really well. Okay, I'm sending him awesome. Uh, signal to noise ratio, I think it's minus 04 here. So definitely a mode that can go down to uh, very uh, weak signals and uh, decode them. Okay, Raspberry Pi, yep. And uh, 891. And I think he also has an unfed. I can't really see here. But uh, he's at home, so uh, hopefully we'll get to try uh, an FTA call contact portable on both sides sometime. I hope so. Okay, so I'm going to send him the file, and uh, you know he might make a video. I'm certainly going to. <laughs> well, you're seeing it right now, so okay. One more reply. Okay, I can't see here because, of course, <laughs> even with my glasses. That's horrible, and my editing uh, video, uh, my editing software doesn't have a big enough screen here. I could probably click on enlarge here, but uh, I am happy we can finally do a video, I guess. Collaboration, yeah, yeah, definitely. We tried before, um, and we failed. <laughs> well, almost failed, or you know, almost succeeded. I'm not sure, but uh, we were both using, I think, uh, or I was using at least a. Uh, the magnetic loop from uh, from chameleon antennas and uh, that loop works really well but uh, that time uh, there just wasn't a path between us okay definitely portable next time yeah let's hope let's hope so this mode is it well certainly for uh, you know compared to all the other modes uh, it certainly uh, does work very well so i think um, Jordan, and I think it's Jordan, I hope I'm not mistaking, but uh, I uh, sent him, uh, well, we corresponded a bit by email, and uh, he said he would definitely look into the, uh, you know, implementing a an automatic time synchronization feature, uh, w which means that uh, you wouldn't need an external time source to use the mode, and, and that would be awesome, and I really, really hope uh, he does that, and... Uh, Definitely, that would be awesome. That would make it really uh, extremely usable for prepping, you know. Well, as far as, uh, you know, digital modes go with a computer. But again, this, uh, you know, the, the Raspberry Pi and also the uh, the mini PCs, uh, something I need to look into. QRM73. So, yeah, here uh, he's saying goodbye. And that's it, guys. I mean, it's just that simple. Uh, it, it is pretty slow, I have to say, but... Uh, you know, uh, when the conditions are not ideal, or far from ideal, uh, this mode uh, does the job. So hopefully we'll get to use it again and uh, experiment uh, a little more. All right. Uh, you all have a good one. Mm -hmm.